Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So last night, something was going on on TikTok with Coral and Alexis. Not with each other, but separately. Now Coral was saying something about Team Coral, Team Wade, no, don't do that. Or something like that. And she was just saying, you know, what is that about? And I was like, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. She was like, what's that about? And I was like, what's going on? So, Alexis was live. Now, Alexis is Wade's ex-fiance. So, she was live and she was talking. I fell asleep, but I do remember her looking kind of like down. Like, she was just... Just, she just seemed sad for some reason. And this morning, the same thing. She just seemed kind of like down. And she was in this place. I don't know what it is. It looked kind of like junky in the background. I'm not sure if that was her home. But she said she was on her way to work. And then when I went back to the live stream, she was in her car. So I don't know. But she looked, she was kind of down. And she mentioned something about her children. I said, you know what? Forget this. Just call me Alice in Wonderland because I'm about to go down the Reddit rabbit hole and you guys are coming with me. So let's talk about it. So somebody on Reddit, because you're not going to love to give my credit, by the name of Zealous Ideal Ty5236, okay? And this thread, now in this thread, this, post, this person, she posted what they had to say and baby... It just took off from there. So, I'm going to give you what I can. All right? So, here goes. Ex-fiance Alexis is on live. Something is not right with her. She made a video saying F Wade and that she was friends with Breezy and says she will block anyone who mentions her because she was a beautiful soul and she is not here to defend herself. I get that part. I really do. I get that, you know. No one should be talking about Breezy because she's not here. She passed away. And God bless her soul. Also, I think somebody asked, phone calls from prison, Shay, um, was there any more calls between Wade and Breezy? And she said yes, but because she had passed away, she wasn't putting it out there. And I, I respect that. I really do. I respect that. So, so Alexis said it's sad. You know, Wade was getting beaten up in, in the, by the guards in jail. And she said that she's not covering up her tattoo because it's part of her life. And she wishes she could be there for him, but can't. And she's annoyed that her lease wasn't renewed because she was doxxed as a supporter of a murderer. And she said, which I'm not. Now, also in her F. Wade video, she boasts about having all her kids and this person said, wow, good for you, big flex. <laughs> but then on her live yesterday, she mentioned something about her youngest being taken from her. And in her live today, says she's happy to talk about her DCF case if it'll help others. Hmm. Yeah, something is definitely going on with Alexis. She's not taking any accountability for being in contact with and engaged to a serial murderer and rapist with effing swatty tattoos. And when I say swatty, you know what I'm talking about. I'm so happy. I'm so happy her lease wasn't renewed. This sort of thing should be happening more to these Wade wives. They need to be outed and held accountable. Oh, she didn't know the facts until she went to trial. It's all available online, which is true. It is true. She lives locally and it was on the news. That is true. Get effing real. And of course, Coral is starting the We Will rally for her. No, the F we won't. I'm past rolling my eyes and getting pretty effing pissed at this um shit show. Rest in peace to Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz. <sighs> now, I didn't know Coral said that um that they got a rally for her. Not everybody's going to be on board with that. Okay, but the comment section is insane. So let's talk about it. So once someone says, I call BS on the trial. She knew the truth before going. She only cracked after all the skanks. <laughs> she only cracked after all the skanks came out with their jail messages 
from her boyfriend. <laughs> Skank. Oh my God. For real. She would have, she would have been eating up everything she could find about him online. She would have watched every news piece, read every article. She's full of ish if that's her angle. So someone said, Coral claims she's for the victims, yet only has Wade's people on her lives. LOL. So someone said, by the name of, not my long johns. <laughs> oh my God. Has anyone seen the Team Wade or Team Coral post on TikTok? Since when is Coral a side in this dumb effery? She is bringing out the dumb effery, if you ask me. She created more drama by calling people who reached out to Wade as victims. And I hate the fact that she calls Bonnie a victim. She flipped her script about Kristen and Melissa. Now, she doesn't support them because she's seen things but won't call them on their BS. Coral is so cringe and annoying. Had to unfollow her. Now here is a name that I am familiar with. And it's called. F a username underscore. You get what I'm saying. I could not agree more. I do not care if people think we're being unfair. And that. All these people caught in this web are victims. Take some accountability for your own damn actions. Everyone that's involved themselves are grown. Frontal lobe will be fully developed by now. I think this is all a social media stunt to rally some support behind her because it's evident her life's turned into shit since she's been exposed for supporting someone of that nature. And... As we all speculated, she's hurt. Wade has moved on. Some chicks raised 90 k for him in less than two months. Pay his debts off. Put money on his books for food and drugs. She's expired now. So the devotion she put into him is worthless. That is true. That is true. That is so true. I don't care if people think it's unkind, but people who contact him... Hold support signs up in solidarity for him. I hope you think of Diane's children that are left without both parents. And I hope you think of Christine's mother who believes her daughter is still alive and married with children due to her neurodegenerative condition has to relive the discovery of her daughter's death over and over like it's the first time every time. Probably for the rest of her days. Now, I did read somewhere about Christine Melton's mom, and it was heartbreaking. You know, it, it was heartbreaking. That it's just that's that's a different type of story. I will have to come back with you guys with with later. But yeah, I read about that, and it was just really heartbreaking. I'm a big troll. I'm offensive, but at least it's directed at the right people. Hmm. I know that's right, honey. I, I know that's right. So, right? I couldn't give a F if people think this is me or trolling. Anyone who willingly got involved with him post jail for murder deserves it. They have they have something seriously wrong with them and I hope karma gets them. I don't like to wish bad on anyone, but if they felt a fraction of what the victims and the victim's family have felt, it would be deserved in my opinion she wants to come forward and talk about her effing cows and her non-existing hairdressing skills but not address why the hell she was supporting this monster and was and wants people to be nice no mention of the victims whatsoever makes me so angry so someone said they don't even care about their own kids <laughs> before they worry about save way save them damn kids I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make me a sign. Someone said, "I'm with you on that one." I'm sick of seeing babies hurt and worse. Now I'm gonna say this: Whenever I go on TikTok and someone's on live and they're talking about Wade and, or Save Wade and the Wade wives and all this kind of stuff, if it's all about Wade and they going against other people, I'm hearing kids in the background screaming and hollering, like, "Take care of your babies first." Put them to bed and then get back online and pop your shit. 
You get what I'm saying? But all that crying in the background, it's not a good look. You know, with those kids screaming and crying, it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. So, someone else said, her timeline makes no sense. When did she see him in court? That was, he was so skinny. She was only there during trial when he looked big and bulky in his suit. So an answer, and his lawyers, Lee and Malcolm, weren't on the case long before trial. I was thinking she was talking about when she when he OD'd, but you're right. He barely even looked at her when he enters the courtroom. So, <laughs> someone said, I don't even believe this B is sober. She sure acts she sure as shit acts like she's tweaking. And I completely agree. There's no way she couldn't renew her lease because of this. No landlord would give a F what you do on your own time as long as you pay your rent and don't trash the place. A job, maybe? An apartment? Girl, shut the F up. You just sent all your money to Wade. Warm Foods Wilson can't take <laughs> When I tell you they be going off, they be going off. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You just sent all your money to Wade Warm Foods Wilson's Canteen. And now you and your kids have nowhere to effing go. That's that's some wicked work. <laughs> that's wicked. Oh my god. Wade Warm Foods Wilson's Canteen. <laughs> Oh my God, I tell you, when you, listen, coming down this Reddit rabbit hole was worth it because, oh my God, I crack up every time. I crack up every time. <sighs> okay, someone said, I watched some of this and she seemed, in my opinion, to be doing this to get ahead of the prison calls coming out. Because she kept saying, oh, well, when you hear the calls, etc. Oh, yeah, she realized they're coming after the DA made those comments about it. So she's trying to get ahead when really she should just disappear from anything online. Hmm. Okay, so I found another interesting comment. Well, 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 I watched all her videos on TikTok and I saw one about missing her son. Now I know why. I don't believe her landlord isn't renewing her lease because of that. This has changed my whole perspective on her. I am willing to bet she'll be asking for money next. I have zero and I mean zero patience for anyone that has their kids taken away from them. Call me a butthole, anything you want, but empathy stops here. I have no empathy for drug addicts either. Zero. Always wanting a pat on the back for being clean. Not me. I don't care that you're clean. You had children and you should have been clean. I had everything stacked against me as a single mother and I got up every day and went to work and I did what I had to do for my babies. She is lying and I don't buy it. That coral person can only ride the wave until everyone figures out they can just do their own TikTok. She probably got kicked out because she gave her money instead of paying her rent. She gave away his gave away money instead of paying her rent. Or maybe she is scared to live there. I doubt the landlord thing. I actually doubt anything coming from her mouth now. Mm. Wow. So, honey, listen, if y'all want to go on Reddit and read some of this stuff, you are welcome to do so because they are going in. <sighs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. Going down the Reddit rabbit hole was worth it. Because I was trying to figure out Alexis, like, like what was her deal? So now everything is being put into place. And now I'm seeing that some people are not feeling coral. Now, I don't know Coral that well. I haven't really been following her unless she does like a live stream with somebody. So I don't know her personally. But there's people out there who really don't care for her right now. So I don't know. But um, if you know anything about this, let me know in the comment section. 
Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.